An old couple like that, the man thought, acting like kids. Didn't have a clue how crazy they looked. Peering over the boxwood hedge he was trimming, the gardener was looking at Cy and Donald Benson on the wide back deck of their house, sitting in a rocking love seat and drinking champagne, which they'd had plenty of, that was for sure. Giggling, laughing, loud, like kids, he thought contemptuously. But enviously, too, a little. Not at their wealth, though he didn't resent that. He made a good living tending the grounds of the Benson's neighbors, who were just as rich. No, the envy was simply that, even at this age, they looked like they were way in love and happy. The gardener tried to remember when he'd laughed like that with his wife. Must have been ten years. And holding hands like the Bensons were doing? Hardly ever since their first year together. The electric hedge trimmer beckoned, but the man lit a cigarette and continued to watch them. They poured the last of the champagne into their glasses and finished it. Then Donald leaned forward, whispering something in the woman's ear, and she laughed again. She said something back and kissed his cheek. Gross. And here they were, totally ancient. Sixties, probably. It was like seeing his own parents making out. Christ. They stood up and walked to a metal table on the edge of the patio and piled dishes from their lunch on a tray, still laughing, still talking. With the old guy carrying the tray, they both headed into the kitchen the gardener wondering if he'd drop it, he was weaving so much. But no, they made it inside all right and shut the door. The man flicked the butt into the grass and turned back to examine the boxwood hedge. A bird trilled nearby, a pretty whistle. The gardener knew a lot about plants, but not so much about wildlife, and he wasn't sure what kind of bird this was. But there was no mistaking the sound that cut through the air.